Yeah, uh, you know, I committed to Coach O'Brien, um, and he left for the Houston Texans, and then he coached the Senior Bowl, and he still didn't want to coach me, so I had a discussion with him there about that. But uh, and then Coach Franklin came in, and uh, you know, just kind of you know, brought his culture to Penn State while also keeping the tradition that Penn State has, and uh, you know, we all bought into it. We all. Uh, trusted in Coach Franklin, and trusted in, in his process, and you know he's a, he's a great head coach, and is a huge reason why Penn State is where it's at today. Back to back, you know, 11 win seasons, back to back top 10 finishes, back to back New Year's Six Bowls, a Big Ten championships, some big time wins, and uh, I think our stadium averaged like 108,000 a game when they say it only holds 107. So. I don't know, maybe we got like a security or something checked out there, but it's been uh, an incredible ride at Penn State, and uh, I'm so thankful to have those times and those memories. I'm excited to get back to State College in, uh, next week. Do you feel like there was any maybe even unfinished business? You guys were, what, four points away from being undefeated last year? Mm -hmm. Could have been in the playoff very easily. Yeah, yeah thanks for reminding me. Um, now I got all motivated. I'm going to go kill his bench press. Um, yeah, uh, that wasn't fun, obviously sitting there at lunch today with JT Barrett and he was he was smiling about that one but uh, it was it's a part of the process man it's part of the journey um, you know, we had a very talented football team we played extremely well in all uh, 13 games and we were able to come out with 11 wins uh, obviously you know in college football that's not good enough but uh, unfinished business absolutely but that's not up to me now it's up to those guys that are still there and you know I'm really confident what they what they'll be able to do